All right, here we go. So this is the end of January 2022 uh, San Joaquin County market update. I'm going to try to keep this one short. Not much change. Biggest change we've seen is interest rates. So there were interest rates. We all thought uh, that the rates were going to creep up to about 3.75 by the end of the third quarter. Well, they, it happened within 40 days of this calendar year. So we're going to see how that's going to affect inventory. We're going to see how that's going to affect buyer confidence and affordability. So let's take a look at what the charts look like right now. So uh, here is um, the inventory chart and the pending lines. You see we have a bit more inventory now than we had last year. We have 17.6% uh, more inventory today than we had last year, 2.5% uh, more than we had last month. Um, we will start seeing some inventory increase like you saw here last year. Traditionally, we see it increase in the spring and summertime. Uh, with rates going up, we'll see how, how aggressive that's going to be. Uh, you also see buyer activity pick up. But like, again, we're going to keep a close eye on the interest rate and see what kind of impact it has. Uh, buyers today are now buying properties at, uh, at higher, uh, higher rates and higher median prices, uh, which does affect their affordability. So what it's doing for uh, the days on the market, uh, we're seeing uh, days on the market increase to 27. Now, it feels that the market is moving much faster, depending on the price point, you know, under the median price, homes are selling rather quickly. But then there's also a lot of homes that are at the higher end that are sitting for much longer. Um, the, the home sales, uh, they're still selling at about 100% of their list price, which is, which is a, a, a sign of strength. When we're talking about the median price, you saw the median price increase by 2%, but we're still about a percentage and a half uh, lower than we were at the peak, which we hit twice at 512,000 median price. Uh, we hit that in July and we hit it again in September, came back down, we're at 505. I'm, I'm expecting that price point to go up a bit, um, like we talked about the first and second quarter, uh, but we will see what kind of impact we're going to have on with that rate. We were expecting that rate not increase not to happen until the end of the third quarter. It happened within 40 days. So we're going to keep a close eye on it. Uh, the, the, the one that's going to really let us know is this next chart here, which is the absorption rate. So if we stop putting homes on the market, how long would it take for the inventory to be fully wiped out? Right now, it's less than a month. Now, a traditional market is about five to six months. So this is what's really going to tell us if inventory goes up like like it, it did last year, but then what happens is pending sales go up, as you see here, you'll see uh, pending sales and inventory go up, which which then keeps inventory levels low. But if you saw if you see the inventory go up and the pending sales go down, then that absorption rate uh, will change, and we might have two three months of inventory, which then it's a, it becomes a transition. So we will keep an eye on this chart right here in the next couple of months, and we'll keep an eye on the interest rates. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know. If you want to know what your home is worth or want to get a free valuation, hit, hit the, at the link above or reach out to somebody on my team, and we'll give you a, a free valuation of your property. If you're considering or have been considering refinancing, if you're at a higher rate, this is the time. I don't know if we're going to see the rates continue to increase or if they're going to come down, but uh, inflation being at 7.5% rate, you're, you're borrowing at 35 uh, points uh, under the the inflation number. So it's basically negative interest rates. So I expect a lot of clients to lock in uh, longer term debt as we are concerned that the, the, the interest rate will continue to increase. So uh, that is it for today. Any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.